In this video, we're going to go over how to create our wiki using WordPress. And we're going to have a WordPress installed on our own domain. Okay, so there's two ways to do this. You can download WordPress from WordPress.org. Just uh, download the latest version here. Or you can go to your hosting provider, and usually there is a way to install it, whether you're using Fantastico or GoDaddy has their own installer, and several other hosting providers have their own installer for WordPress. Okay, I'm going to give you a separate video that shows you how to install WordPress from the files, but in this video, I'm just going to do the quick install. So I'm going to go over to Fantastico Deluxe on my hosting provider, and we're going to install it from there. Okay, so I have cPanel hosting here, and I'm going to use Fantastico Deluxe. So whichever one you're going to use, whichever hosting provider you have, will have a way that you can do this, or for the most part they do. Okay, so let's go in here. Okay, and then down on the left side, you'll see all the different things that you can install using Fantastico Deluxe if you're using this. So I'm just going to click on WordPress now. Okay, and then we're going to click on New Installation. Okay, and from here, it's very simple. If you have multiple domains on your hosting provider, you just select from the list here. Okay, now if you install it without putting anything in this directory, it'll just install right here. So if you typed in the domain name you pick here, the WordPress install would come up when you just type in a domain name. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call this test wiki. Okay, and then when down here we start giving it our login credentials. Okay, and then your password. So you use something secure here. Admin nickname. Okay, and many email address. So put in an email address here, and this will be the address that is sent from your blog or your wiki. This will be where it's sent from. Okay, and then the site name. Now, the good thing about doing it with WordPress also is that you can add a wiki to your existing WordPress blog. I'm setting up a WordPress site specifically for a wiki here, but if you already have a WordPress site up, you can just add the plugin that we're going to get to in a little while and add a wiki right to it, okay? So let's just continue here. So install WordPress. Okay, finish installation. Okay, from here you can put your email address in down here and it will email you the details of your site. And then if you click right here, it'll take you to the admin panel. Okay, now we can log in. Okay, so we have the beginnings of our site here. All right, now let's just take a quick look. This is what the default install looks like. Okay, so I'm not going to do too much to this, but what you would do is you would change the site to look the way you want. And that's another good thing about doing it with WordPress. You can theme it and change everything you want so that you make it look the way you want in the first place, and then you do the stuff behind the scenes. Okay, but I'm going to do the minimum here, so I'm going to delete all the posts. So trash. And then I'm going to delete the pages. And then I'm going to down to settings and just set a couple things here. Let's go to general. Okay, and then 
we want to allow people to register. Now, the way the wiki is going to work is if you, you are going to be able to assign people uh, different roles if you want them to be able to contribute to the wiki. So if you set them as contributor, what that will allow them to do is to submit content, but they won't be able to actually post it. You'll have to approve it first. If you make them an author, then they will be able to completely control what goes on. So they'll be able to submit their own post to the wiki and they'll also be able to edit other people's posts so decide which way you want this to be or you can just leave them a subscriber and assign them one at a time if you want them to be able to contribute okay so i i would suggest though that you either make them a contributor or an author when they sign up i'm going to go with contributor here and then let's just set our time zone here And we'll save that. Okay, so uh, with this type of wiki, we are able to actually control it more than with other wikis. There, some of the wiki software, you don't really have any control over it uh, because that's the nature of a wiki. But we are, are exercising some control over this one. Okay, so now let's go to discussion. Okay, and all I want to do here is turn off the trackbacks and pingbacks. Okay, we're going to want comments when we're using a wiki. So you could pretty much leave the rest of this alone. If you want to put some words into the blacklist, that's a good idea. Okay, let's save the changes here. Okay, and then. We'll go to permalinks and we're going to go post name and save the changes. Okay, so everything that you put in your wiki will have a sub category or a, in the URL it have slash wiki slash post name. So you don't have to worry about any duplication there. And then the next thing I would do is create a home page. Okay, now remember, this is for a standalone wiki. If you're adding it to a blog you already have, then you're not going to have to do this part. Okay, welcome to my test wiki. Okay, so you'd do a better job than that, of course. Okay, and then... Let's just uh, go here and I click discussion so that I can control that on a post by post basis. And on my home page, I don't want discussion. Let's publish that. And then let's go down to settings again and reading. Okay, and then we want a static page. Okay, and then so we're just setting the home page here. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is go to plugins and we're going to add new. And now we're going to add the wiki plugin. Now, of course, you can add all the plugins you want to your site, but this is just for the wiki here. So I'm just going to type in wiki. And you'll see one here called Wiki. This is what we want. So we'll do install now. And we're going to activate. And there we have it. OK, so now let's go to Appearance. And we're going to go to Widgets. Okay, so I'm going to take a bunch of stuff off here. Okay, so let's put the wiki in here. 
You can change the title here if you want. And if you want only top level to show in here, then you can set this to yes. So what it means by that is that you can have many levels of categories and you can have them under one underneath the other. Okay, we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so there we go. Now, let's go have a look at the site. Now let's spread this a bit. Okay, so here we are over here. There's our my wiki site test wiki and there's a search. So, let's start populating our wiki. So let's go over here to wikis. And then we're going to add a wiki. Now you just enter the title here of your wiki entry. And we'll put this is my recipe collection. Okay, now you want to allow comments usually. The author down here, we only have ourselves at the moment. We're going to change that in a minute. Where do you want to enable the email notifications? So that'll put a box on the actual page for email notifications. And that's it. Let's publish. Okay, now let's add a user. Actually, let's... Well, yeah, we can add a user, but we could register as a new user if we wanted. But let's just do add new here. Okay, and then you see down here that is defaulting to contributor. And that's what will happen if somebody does a registration. Okay, so let's give somebody a name here. Okay, so let's add them. Okay, so there we go. Now, if we go over to all users now, you'll see that user two is a contributor. So let's log in as user two now. Okay, so now we have, since we are a contributor, we have more options here and we can go into wikis. Okay, so we are allowed to actually edit the content of an existing one. If we add a wiki, we are allowed to do that too. So let's say cookie recipes. And here we'll put my cookie recipes. Okay, now over here with parent, we would select recipes, okay? So this is how you can make the categories go in and out or subcategories so that everything makes sense. You can also change the order here, so lower numbers a higher order. Now you see here it says submit for review, okay? So, oh, coolie recipes. Okay, so that's gonna be submitted for review and the admin would have to approve it before anybody would be able to see it. So let's send the, the cookie reviews. Okay, so let's sign out now. And let's go to the wiki itself. Okay, so there's recipes. Okay, and then here we have page discussion and history. So these are the things that show up. So if we want to, this is why we turn the 
comments on so that we can take part in the discussion within the wiki, even if we're not registered. And the history, this will show us what's happened in here. Okay, so it shows us everything there. Let's go back here. Okay, and here's the cookie recipes under sub wikis, but when we click on it, there's nothing there. And that's because it hasn't been approved by the administrator yet. So let's just go back and sign in as an administrator. Okay, here we are back as an administrator. So let's go to wikis. Okay, so you see here now it says uh, pending and it says user is currently editing. Okay, so we can go in here and take control of it if we edit it. Okay, so let's just click publish. Okay, now let's go back to wikis here. And you'll see that it's ready. So if we now go look at the site, we're logged in, but so we'll see a few more options when we go to recipes. You see here, there's our cookie recipes. Okay, so now we have a few more since we're administrator. We have edit, advanced, and create new. Okay. So there's advanced. Just go in and do a little more with it here. Okay, so that's pretty much it. People just go in, they register, and they will be set to the level that you put them in here as the user's default, actually in settings, which in our case was contributor, but you might set them to editor. And then people can just go ahead and add the content for you. So it's a great way to get a site going by having collaborative content and having other people create your content for you. Okay, in the next video, we're going to show a hosted solution that you can use to set up your wikis very quickly.